Hi everybody and welcome back to Daniela Ability. Today's topic is not super fun or lighthearted, but it's definitely something that I think is important to talk about, especially being an adult living with a disability and providing information to parents who have either young children with a disability or are expectant parents who have been told that their child will have a disability. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. 80% of parents choose to terminate when they find out that their child has a spina bifida diagnosis. A big part of that is because expectant parents are told that their child is going to have a very low quality of life. So they're told that they aren't going to be able to walk and that they're gonna have a variety of issues like neurological issues and not to expect much in terms of them being able to do a whole lot with their life. But whatever your views are on abortion, I think we can all agree that mothers and parents in general should be given the full story when they are trying to decide what they want to do when they're in this situation. I don't think that it's fair for parents to make that decision unless they're given both sides of the story. Yes, there may be issues, you know, in their child's life, but I think they should also be told the possibilities that their child has to thrive and, you know, be independent and be able to do things with their life. And I also think that with spina bifida specifically, they aren't told that there are varying degrees of spina bifida. So there are people with spina bifida that you wouldn't even know, it doesn't really affect them. There are people who have it that may have some difficulty walking, but they're still able to. And then there's, you know, more extreme cases like me where I'm not able to walk. I don't think that having a child with the potential to have a disability should automatically be a reason to terminate. There's very little information out there about people who have spina bifida who live into adulthood and the information that is out there, as far as I know, isn't being shared with expectant parents or parents who have children with disabilities. And that's devastating because they should be shown here are the possibilities of what your child can be and how they can live their life and, you know, live into adulthood and here's how they can work to be independent and the things that they're able to do. They can drive a car with these hand controls and they can live independently if they have these tools and they can go to college and you know have all these experiences with these different tools to help them. I'm doing this video and I started this channel with the hope that expectant parents or parents who already have a child with a disability could find it and it could be a resource to them to show them that their children can thrive and can live a great life whether they have a disability or whatever obstacle they're facing because yes there are struggles and things that can get frustrating but that's how it is I think for everybody everybody has hard times and things that they face that aren't easy but that doesn't mean that their quality of life is not worth their existence and you know having the opportunity to live as fully as they are capable because the fact is I'm 30 years old and I love my life. I have a great quality of life. I am very thankful to be alive and to live the life that I am. And I just think that having this mentality that that's not possible and it doesn't happen is really incorrect and a false representation of what disability looks like. and. I think that needs to change and I think that it's important to share information like this with expectant parents so that they don't just have 
one side of the story. It's incredibly frustrating to have this idea that just because I get around differently than other people that I need to be fixed or that I'm broken because I don't view myself that way. I can understand for people who haven't lived their life in my situation that they may see it from the outside like, wow, I can never imagine having to live that way. But for me, I don't know any different. And so for me, this is just how my life is. It's not something that I feel is a loss or something to be sad about because I've never experienced the other side of being fully capable. For me, being able to walk is not the only version of life that is ideal. The main thing that is a challenge for me in life is when the places that I go or the things that I want to do aren't accessible. So it's not necessarily my situation that makes me feel incapable or you know, makes me think about my disability. It's the situations that I'm in when there are factors that make it difficult to get around or to have access to the equipment that we need. An example of that is that I need a new wheelchair and I've been in this process since April. So that's three months of trying to get this piece of equipment that's essential for my independence and my ability to get around. And I'm still in the midst of that process. It's not even close to being figured out. And this is not an uncommon occurrence. It typically takes a really long time to get this thing that I need and that is important to me for being able to be the independent person that I am. And there's all kinds of issues with insurance involved and all kinds of things that I'm not going to get into in this video, but it's incredibly frustrating to hear stories upon stories of people who want to be independent and live full lives as people with disabilities that are constantly held back by red tape and by, you know, outside factors that the processes aren't being figured out and they're not being made easier for us. I don't necessarily have any solutions or any, you know, specific call to action, but if you guys have ideas about how to get our stories out there to parents and how to help see a change in how disabilities are perceived, I would love to hear your feedback. I really value your input, so definitely leave comments below. See you guys next time.